our cost representative uh, in, uh, in, um, in chairing this section first. Because it's very important, uh, you have to know how you're going to uh, lead your groups, especially uh, for the team leaders. So, uh, because later on, I'm going to give you okay, some group excitements. Because now, uh, we are having uh, online classes uh, starting from week one until end of this year. For next year, we do not know yet. So therefore, uh, it's very important that I'm going to assist you to build some teamwork and some soft skill. Therefore, hey uh, you just able to work okay, uh, well and work okay, uh, smoothly okay, with your uh, team members. So therefore, I try to assign and allocate okay, a couple of times uh, for especially okay to our course lab and let our course lab okay to manage the each team uh, member team leaders. So uh, this is number one. So I really do hope that uh, by sharing all this, uh, uh, while your uh, ice breaking will help you to know okay better and better for your team members. Because later on, either you like or not you have to work together with your team uh, members and your team leaders. This is number one. So number two, uh, attendance. Okay, I, I, I think I have already have shared the template of your attendance. So as you know, uh, attendance will be very important um, starting this week, starting the uh, week number four until week number 14, you do not need to go to the Google Sheet Excel file anymore. But uh, your team leaders is going to uh, monitor your attendance. I already have shared a uh, one template with every team uh, leader. So let's on every time when you're going to uh, take your attendance via Spectrum, please and please screenshots as a proof to prove that actually you have uh, attended okay our online class let's on just okay uh, uh, upload it okay to the share folder of your groups and this share folder actually our cross representative already created uh, our uh, our um, our share folders for every groups so let's on every team leaders you can upload all your uh, attendance, all your um, assignments, all your uh, your your uh, supporting documents of your team members. So we easier, okay, uh, for cost representative, even myself, okay, uh, in monitoring and managing, okay, especially your attendance. Listen carefully here. If uh, especially for the team leaders, if you find any uh, of your team members that absent for three continuous uh, week without providing any reason, you have to report to our cost representative and me. Because let's on, we are going to call this uh, and contact uh, this team member. If we could not reach it, then uh, mostly we will see the assistance from faculty. So this is very important message I would like to share with you. So just now, uh, yes, this one will be attendance. So go back to the um, to the uh, ice breaking. Even the ice breaking, uh, there will be two, uh, three activities. But first and first activity will be the ice breaking. So what you're going to do, every team members, you try to go to every student, you try to go to your groups, go to the palette page that created by your team leaders and post it via this palette. The reason why I'm going to share with you uh, this palette, instead of uh, having some discussion via Google Meet MS team uh, or even uh, Zoom, actually uh, you can use a palette as one of the online platform because every text that you are going to key in will be captured. So therefore, uh, for every information for every section that you are going to, that you have conducted, please screenshot it after this okay just okay uh screenshot it okay especially for the first activity and the second activity i uh, ask you everyone please share three 
uh, strength and your three weaknesses. The objective of having this because uh, this session because I want or uh, all of you know or uh, know everyone in this world okay will be the perfect person. When you can accept the strengths of your team members or your, or your team leaders, for very sure you should also accept the weaknesses. If you identify this will be some weaknesses uh, for these uh, team members, please help them to overcome it. If you feel, if, if you find that or oh, this will be uh, some strength, still try to apply it to yourself. This is very important, uh, especially when you are going to conduct uh, some uh, group assignments, group discussions, even the business pitching later on. So this one will be the uh, second uh, activity uh, that you are going to do and the objective behind of this activity itself. So, uh, do you have any questions so far? Are you clear? Well, I'm trying to uh, so share with you. So, we yes. no need to check attendance on the spectrum. Line. You have to take attendance. It's compulsory for every student. You have to take your attendance in spectrum. So, after, taken, uh, after you have taken your attendance in spectrum, you have to screenshot it. Then you have to uh, you have to upload it okay, to the share folder of your group itself. Then your team leader is going to uh, insert the proof of your attendance and put it into the uh, template. I said again, every student for every week, you are compulsory to take your attendance via Spectrum. So am I answering your questions? I just want to make it clear. Clear, right, everyone? Yes. So do you have any other questions before I go to proceed? <clears throat> I hope everyone, uh, you are clear uh, what I try to share with you. If you have any question, please get back to me. No. Then, uh, so, do you have any other questions before I'm going to sh share with you about the third activity that I'm going to assign to you today? So any other question? Could someone reply to me either you have or not? Therefore, I, I know. Yes. Could you try to rep uh, respond to uh, my questions? No, no question. No, OK, that's great. So uh, just a reminder, make sure that you have already have uh, take uh, your attendance because it's very important that you're going to take for your attendance. So the third activity, that I'm going to ask you to do, especially for today. So first of all, I want you to have uh, some discussions with your um, group members. Which product that you are going to uh, propose? So either you want to propose your own product, either you want to be a shop or uh, drop shipper, meaning to say you just help some uh, manufacturer in, uh, in doing their uh, sales and marketing. So after this, you're going to uh, receive the commission, but the process of um, for packaging and delivery mostly will be managed by uh, themselves. You just have to conduct the social marketing. So this will be uh, second. There will be two method. Another third method. Either you're going to identify the gaps and the problems of the current uh, SME or the current or uh, entrepreneur. Then you're going to uh, provide uh, the solution or, or you're going to improve uh, the current um, uh, products or the current process. OK, then you're going to uh, proceed with your pre uh, business proposal. So this one, you have to uh, discuss it with your uh, team members. So uh, let me OK, uh, to put this way. So uh, there will be a two assignment, two type of assignment. Every group you just have to select either a uh, business uh, marketing portfolio or business plan. So for business marketing portfolio, of uh, especially is offer uh, is for those uh, group that you are going to um, conduct a some uh, what you call this some. Um, social marketing. So therefore, 
you just okay uh how how i'm going to share with you you just um prepare for your business uh, marketing portfolio so uh, mostly okay uh, this uh, this business marketing portfolio so either you want to uh, be a drop shipper or even you want to uh, uh, conduct uh, some uh, marketing uh, social marketing so therefore uh, you can choose um, marketing portfolio as your excitement but okay for some students uh, they think that okay they want to challenge themselves they want to have uh, some uh, some industry experience they can or uh, they can um <clears throat> they can um identify uh, and improve the current features of the or the current process or even the current services uh, that offer by their uh, by their target uh, industry partners or the or the, um, the current what you call this the current merchants then you're going to conduct pitching then you're going to uh, convince them so this is uh, I would like to say so this one therefore you have to know uh, how you're going to prepare a proper uh, business plan so this one this one okay uh, not not now but after this okay mostly you can have some discussion because uh, my my or what I'm planning to uh, do it for you all. So I want you start okay with your ideas. I want you start with a discussion. Come up with your progress report, version number one first. Starting this way until end of this uh, semester, uh, we do not have any online or uh, weekly uh, weekly online activities. We going we are going to change it to the uh, progress um report. For example, this week will be version number one, next week will be version number two. So by following all the lectures that we have, so after you have uh, you have followed uh, all the lecture, all the skills that I'm going to share with you, then you can improve your uh, your uh, progress report. So until one uh, stage, you can transfer everything okay, into assignments. In other words, you are when I, when you are going to start with this uh, activity tree, meaning to say you have started okay in doing your assignments. So, but I haven't uh, give you the assignment yet because uh, I would like to know uh, either okay uh, how many either you want to choose a uh, marketing portfolio or business plan. So for some student, they said that uh, sir. I do not know uh, which product that I am going to sell uh, or, or which product that I'm going to uh, um, for me to conduct the marketing uh, because I do not know uh, which um, which uh, drop ship uh, drop shipping okay that I'm going to choose for it. I do not know I do not have any ideas. So what you what sh what can I do? So very easy. Uh, actually, if you don't have any products, if you do not have any ideas, actually, uh, I have uh, one product. It's, in, it's not my product. Actually, uh, this was a collaboration with UM STEM Center. So actually, uh, we are we are uh, cooperating, okay, in uh, publishing uh, some STEM activity books. And this book, uh, mostly, okay, um, they're going to uh, um, offer it, okay, especially to our APK student. So uh, previously, I already have spoken uh, with UM STEM Center. So especially if you're interested, okay, to become a dropshipper, meaning to say uh, you do not need to come up any single sense. You just have to uh, post it to social media, for example, Facebook, WhatsApp, email marketing, anything. Uh, any platform of social market, social media. So as long as you have received uh, some transaction, meaning say you have conducted um, your sales and marketing successfully, meaning say uh, someone uh, they are willing to buy from you, they have made a payments. So you just okay share all the uh, bank uh, transaction statement to me, then I'm going to get you. Okay, how you're going to uh, get uh, get back? Okay, your commission or your profits. So for this book, uh, like this, because we uh, 
we do not take any single profit, okay, uh, by selling this book. We just want to help our applicant students, especially for those students uh, that do not do not have any ideas in selling any products. So listen carefully here. Let's show if you're interested, please get back to me. So this is a STEM activity uh, box. So um, the cost price will be uh, 30 ringgit 30 and the uh, uh, delivery fees will be 10 ringgit. So me to say uh, the cost price, including the delivery fees that you are going to pay back to the UM STEM Center will be 40, 40 ringgit. So if you sell it, uh, for example, uh, 50 ringgit, so the the, the the 10 ringgit, okay, uh, could be your own profit. You can pick it. So let's try they're going to arrange all the delivery, everything. So you just have to help, okay, and, and, and try to involve by yourself in doing these uh, social marketing. If you have any sales, then you will able to get the uh, profits. Especially this offer only for the APK student. We do. We will not. Okay. Uh, take any single cent, including myself. I will not take any uh, profit, only single cents. Okay. Uh, via these uh, transactions, uh, because I just want to help my student. Because some of my student, uh, they came and uh, and uh, uh, discuss with me. They said that, sir, I do not know. Okay, where I going to uh, 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 find the products? I do not know what kind of product that I'm going to. Uh, I going to market. So yes, uh, 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 furthermore, okay, I do not know which uh, drop shipping would be better. So uh, am I going to uh, uh, use my own money to buy a, a certain amount of this product that I'm going to sell it? No, nowadays you do not need to come up any single sense, okay, in uh, buying any products. You can be a drop shipper. So if you, if you are going to do this, you are going to prepare a marketing portfolio. So if you some student that uh, came and see me, they said that, um, sir, I would like to challenge myself um, by uh, by by implementing uh, some uh, some uh, industry experience. Yes, I think it's great. Then I I I I told this student you can participate. Okay, uh, these two programs yesterday. Uh, I just have a meeting with uh, Gen Youth. So mostly, um, currently we have uh, these two uh, competition, and these two competition actually are offering to um, 25 uh, IPTA and IBTS, 25 um, university in Malaysia. So our university will be one of them. So mostly, okay, uh, yeah. So there were two program here. The first program, Meaning to say, uh, you are going to um, produce, either you're going to produce or improve uh, the existing product of your of the current SME, or uh, you're going to improve the process of the uh, sales and marketing or logistic. Then you're going to conduct the business pitching in front of them. So meaning to say, uh, uh, there will be. Uh, the judge. Okay, so if if they are being uh, uh, convinced by your business pitching, mostly they're going to uh, um, uh, sponsor you. Okay, at a certain uh, amount of fund. Maybe mean to say they may give you a certain amount of this fund. So mostly you you are going to continue in doing this. Uh, af mostly after end of this semester. Meaning meaning to say after week fourteen. So you will continue, okay, uh, by uh, by by uh, by improving the or, or or by creating some products for them. At the same time, you will uh, involve and, and, and practice with the uh, real uh, industry uh, people. So mostly it will be the CEO or the uh, or the or the management uh, teams from the uh, the assisting uh, industry partners. So there were a certain the right here is quite good. So that's on you have to move, okay, and proceed with uh, every stage. So the uh, that that let's on okay if you are uh, if you can um proceed to the final stage so we need to say you are uh, representing our university okay 
in uh, getting this uh, opportunity, especially uh, for those students, if you uh, would like to uh, uh, continue, okay, um, uh, your uh, your uh, what's your career? Because some of my students, so after they have participated in this. Uh, mostly, uh, meaning the same, they already have some connection with the industry partner. So after this, uh, it will be easier for them to get a job. Mm -hmm. But there will be a pro and cons. Mostly, uh, you have to attend all the online workshop or the webinar that are arranged by them. So to me, as long as you have submitted and transferred everything to in doing your assignment, mm -hmm. I'm fine. I'm fine for it. So mm -hmm. this number one. Actually, there are another program. So what I'll be informed by them will be um, the student actually can uh, be a drop or uh, shipper in, in helping them to uh, conduct the social marketing. So most of uh, firstly, they're going to go to the one website. You are doing, you are going to select some item then you're going to build a, some um, uh, some social uh, marketing uh, portfolio that you're going to put it okay and transfer into your own uh, Facebook page. So what I've been informed that uh, they're going to uh, give uh, 200 per week because you are going to conduct it for three weeks. So the the the, the further information that I'm, I'm going to share with you because I want to be informed by them uh, uh, yesterday they're going to uh, send uh, uh, this to me uh, mostly this week or next week. When I receive it, I'm going to share with you. So this one basically uh, will be this. So go back to the uh, our online activity today. So what you have to do uh, will be uh, you have to for the third one. You 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 try to start every uh, start your discussion by thinking what kind of product or service that you are going to offer. Then you just prepare your uh, your advertisement, your your your, your copywriting. Then you just post, post it to our uh, APK group uh, 13. So make sure that you also, if they're interested, uh, how they're going to contact you, something like this. You post it as your uh, first uh, initiative, okay, okay, in doing your uh, social marketing. So when you are going to learn uh, uh, whatever that I'm going to share with you in the following weeks, then you're going to improve it. So along this, process you were able to see uh, your, your 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 improvement and your progress so in the end of this semester you will you will know actually what I did uh, last time actually I can improve it so when you are going to do this actually um, actually you are uh, working on your assignment already so uh, this will be uh, some activities that I that I'm going to assign to you the reason why I'm going to hand over to our cost representative uh, and, and you all first because I want you to be independent. I want you to know how you are going to lead okay, your uh, group members as well. So do you have any questions? Before I'm going to continue uh, the, uh, the lectures that we still haven't covered it okay, in the last week. So do you have any questions? Are you clear what I'm trying to explain to you? Yes, doctor. Yes, you are clear. So if you are clear, so we're able to see this slide. So I just uh, I just uh, focus on um, some activities. Uh, yeah, these are very important slide that I'm going to uh, share with you. So before this, um, yes, let me okay, check with our... Okay, for uh, I have, I received some uh, message uh, for this, for the template that I have already given to you, you have to list out for every team members. So you can duplicate, you can copy and duplicate it. Yes, okay. Okay, if you know, can we start now? So first of all, we are able to see this line or not? 
Supposedly, last week I should uh, share with you, but uh, because we have a uh, public holiday, so therefore I have to, uh, yes, uh, move it for our uh, our today discussion. So first of all, we are able to see this slide or not? Okay, someone, you can type it up if you do not want to turn on your mic. Yeah. Yes, yes, great. So uh, like this. Let me okay make a very quick okay uh, recap and the uh, revisions what we had learned in the week one and week two, but we do not have any uh, class in the week three. So today is the week four. So let me uh, make a very quick okay revision. First week I already have shared with you our course um, uh, learning objective. This will be uh, our direction, our mission and vision that we are going to achieve okay at the end of this semester. So I already told you, every student, okay, you are not uh, a must uh, become an entrepreneur, okay, after taking this course. You're not a must or necessarily you must be a businessman, but at least you have to know how you are going to apply this entrepreneur mindset and skill set into your career. So therefore, this is very, very important uh, you have to know this. So instead of that, okay, I already I shared with you the, uh, the weightage and the rubric, okay, and then the how many percent for this excitement at all. This and uh, this will be what we have discussed in the week number one. So the week number two, uh, already have discussed with you the definition of entrepreneurship. So we have a three definition of entrepreneurship. At the same time, uh, also have asked you to do a uh, one uh, pass, okay? You have to select, okay, one of the entrepreneur that you like it most, then you're going to identify uh, what kind of um, competency and characteristics of this entrepreneur, because you have to uh, have someone that you are going to uh, learn. So after that, okay, I also have shared with you how you are going to generate a, some business idea. There will be a four process. Do you remember the case study of the car park system? Number one will be observing. Number two is, is what? Can anyone tell me? So there were four process. Number one is we're going to observe first, then you, we are going to analyze it, then we're going to communicate with your target customer, then in the end, you're going to develop uh, some solutions. So um, this one, uh, what we had discussed it, okay, previously. So now, okay, uh, I just want to share with you the process first. So before um, you are going to implement all your business idea, uh, it's, it's very important, um, you have to know uh, the process. The first process, you have to know how you are going to generate, okay, your business idea. How we are going to identify the business uh, opportunity. You have to know uh, this will be a business opportunity for you. This is not. After that, you have to know um, how I'm going to uh, generate all this idea. After that, you have to know how you are going to apply this uh, creativity and innovation into your uh, idea that you have generated. After that, uh, you are going to uh, uh, prepare your uh, business uh, model. We are going to learn two business model here, business canvas model and value proposition model. After that, you have to know how you are going to uh, transfer it okay, into the um, business um, plan or marketing portfolio. Then you are going to uh, implement everything via your business pitching. So every stage uh, will come with ease and excitement. So therefore, it's very important that uh, you have to know all this. So before I forget, so for this uh, way of uh, progress report, just the team leader have to submit. Not every student you have to submit. The only the team leaders, you have to submit the progress report weekly. Next week also will be the same. Even for a group excitement, everything, just have to submit, uh, just have to submit, okay, uh, by your uh, team leader. Your team leader just have to submit for it. 
So other team members, you do not need to submit it, okay? So go back to this. So today we are going to learn um, what actually is uh, creativity and what actually is innovation. So creativity is something why we need a uh, uh, creativity. We always say that creativity, creativity, why this creativity is so important, why we need to think outside of the box. So therefore, uh, you have to know uh, the definition of creativity. I just make it short, okay? I will not read a arrow slide. If I go to read everything, then you will not able, we will not able to finish it by two. Okay, put this way. So creativity, they have a three uh, definitions. So number one, Actually, um, activity actually is a process. A process, and this process actually we can develop it and we can uh, improve it. For example, if you are going to propose a something similar like a graph food, graph food to me is a uh, is something like a service. It's it's an mobile apps, and this uh, graph food um, actually they are going to improve the process of food delivery. The grab car is going to improve the process of uh, the, 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 the um, vehicle or the uh, uh, rent vehicles. Uh, yes. So, meaning to say, every process actually you can improve for it. Every process actually we can develop by having new features for it. So, this will be the first definition of creativity. Uh, creativity also, can, we can say that when some um, invention happens, Meaning to say, you're going to apply some new features, and these new features um, haven't um, haven't uh, been assist uh, assisted in this market. Meaning to say, your competitors haven't applied these uh, features in this mar current mar uh, market, but you already have applied these features and these new features, okay, uh, onto your uh, products or services. The third definition of creativity will be something, uh, some ideas that are totally new and potentially useful. Uh, Class, uh, I would like to share something with you. Pure Electron, very soon you're going to conduct some social or uh, media marketing. Don't think that, uh, don't, don't put uh, in the right, uh, wrong uh, direction. Don't think that, okay, someone, that if there's someone of, um, they are offering some products to you, then you, you just straight away to, uh, to, to, to conduct the social marketing is wrong. So you have to know either this product actually is useful, okay, especially, okay, in the perspective of your target uh, customer. Useful means uh, you were able to fulfill the need and wants of your target, um, target customer. After they have bought uh, this uh, product from you, they were able to use it. And at the same time, okay, uh, their need and wants, okay, have been met. So don't, don't uh, propose something is not useful. In the end, uh, your bag customer will not buy it from you. So do you know, uh, um, Social media marketing is not just easy that we are going to post something to social media, then we just wait for someone to like and, and, and buy your product. It's not easy like this. But let's I'm going to share with you how you are going to mix your uh, group of, of your target customer is going to look at your products. Let's on they were going to take uh, actions in buying your products. If not, okay, you try to post everything to, to, to Facebook, I think very hard and very challenging for you to convince someone in uh, in, 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 in making some uh, transactions uh, on your uh, products that you're going to propose. You have you should have some techniques, but I'm going to share with you. So this one I'm going to share with you will be a perspective of creativity. So for example, I use one example here. So uh, this is a handphone. Handphone is a product. And this handphone, if I'm going to uh, look at this handphone in, in the perspective of creativity, if I'm the single uh, user, so I will look at this handphone in terms of the style, in terms of the design, in terms of color combination. But if I'm the uh, engineer, okay, 
uh, who are going to uh, um, create these uh, uh, mobile phone, I will look how efficient of the cross functionals okay, between each um, uh, electrical uh, um, uh, components of this handphone itself. Because uh, as an um, engineer, so I will, and I have to make sure that, okay, all the functions run well. There will be no any uh, syntax error. So to, to, uh, to me, you will able to make this, okay, um, this product free of error by applying this creativity uh, component into this. I, I would like to say it's very, very good. For example, um, you would like to make this handphone smaller. So uh, mostly, okay, um, you can apply some new technology, some new creativity. For example, I'm going to apply this technology A or B or C into this handphone and make okay everything to be smaller, to be slim. So therefore, I already have applied this because by, have, by applying this technology A and B and C, there will be no problems. They were able to cross a uh, platform and cross a uh, function at all. So if I'm the uh, the, 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 the development uh, teams and the engineer as itself. So, but if I'm the entrepreneur, I will, uh, I will look uh, the creativity in this perfect, in this perspective. Meaning the same, I will look at the process. So if, if the process take me longer, means that I'm going to uh, put more money, meaning the same, my cost will be increased and my margin or my profit will be uh, decreased. So at the same time, I also will look at what kind of machine, what kind of uh, software, what kind of tools that in making these handphone. So therefore all these, all this software, all this hardware, all these, every tools that I'm going to use it will increase my cost. So if I'm the entrepreneur or the CEO or the stakeholder in this handphone manufacturer, so mostly I will go to low. Okay, but how I'm going to minimize of using uh, this kind of um, or money in buying this, uh, this software ABC or this hardware ABC. So because I try to apply my creativity in saving the cost. So this will be a different perspective of creativity. So uh, there will be a three components of creativity you have to know. So if, I, if you say that you want to apply creativity in or into this product, First, you should have some knowledge. Let's say if I want to apply some creativity on this uh, handphone, I should have some knowledge how I'm going to build and create this handphone itself. At the same time, I should have some creative thinking skill. I should think it creatively. I should, okay, for example, normally, okay, uh, the, 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 the camera, we, uh, all the, my competitor will with this position. Mostly I go to change it. Meaning to say, if I were able to think it creatively, Mean to say, I already okay apply my creativity in in making this product. So, in other words, creative thinking skill will be another core components of creativity. The third will be the motivation. Motivation means to say it's very important. You have to make sure that um your teams um or teams team members or even your employees. Or your expert, okay, that you had, uh, you have to motivate them. You cannot uh, always say uh, some bad words to them and make them demotivated because our creativity needs a lot of motivation. This is very important. Doctor, you have muted your mic. We're able to we are able to listen what I'm trying to say with you just now. Where I stop just now. You only stop at five seconds. I stop at which part? Which part you cannot hear just now? You only stop for a while. Just for a while, okay? Meaning say you were able to listen uh, until the component of creativity. Am I right? Yes, then okay, uh, can we proceed the, the sixth technique of uh, creativity techniques? Can we proceed for it, right? Please, okay, uh, turn on your mic and let me know if you were not able to listen to my voice. Are you okay with this? 
Definitely. Yes, okay, thanks. So now we're going to proceed the six uh, creativity techniques. Number one, we call it as a brainstorming. Brainstorming means to say, as long as you're going to uh, call a meeting, then you're going to have some discussion with your team members, and every team member, they are going to generate uh, their own idea. In the end, you are going to uh, achieve uh, some, uh, learn, uh, some outcomes uh, via this uh, discussion. So this one we call as a brainstorming. Very easy, this one. But next will be attribute listing. And uh, this one, okay, you have to listen carefully here. So this one is a very famous um, um, uh, creativity techniques, uh, especially for the uh, electrical, uh, computers, laptop, uh, even for the automobile, the, 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 the car industry. Because let's say I give an example here. If today, okay, um, I'm going to tell you that, okay, I'm going to apply this attribute listing, okay, means that I am going to have uh, some creativity, I'm going to apply some creativity Okay, um, on this handphone. So first of all, what I, I'm, I'm going to do, I'm going to list it out, okay, every uh, component of this handphone. So in terms of this handphone, in terms of the camera, so how I'm going to improve it? So in terms of this uh, casing, so what color kind of casing that I'm going to uh, improve it? I'm going to list it out. For example, this handphone, there will be uh, um, 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 40 okay uh, components smaller component then I, I just have to select okay maybe five or six components that i'm going to apply the creativity into this component maybe the number one it will be the casing number two will be the camera number third will be the battery number four will be the uh, bluetooth okay number uh, number um, six will be the i mean uh, could be the uh, front camera so Meaning to say, this technique, especially for those um, uh, people, uh, they are coming from this, uh, for example, for, uh, for the automobile or the car industry. So if I'm going to say, I'm going to apply the attribute listing, mostly they're going to list it down every smaller component of this car. So let's join, they're going to just select, okay, some of the component, then they just improve for it because uh, this will be a very popular technique, okay, uh, will be used especially for computers uh, and uh, um, ICT uh, industry, even for the EE industry. So this one, number one. Number two, okay, what I'm going to share with you will be this. Uh, uh, next will be the problem reversal. So this problem reversal mostly will be used for those uh, branded um, um, uh, manufacturer. For example, a uh, one handbag in the, in in this market will be the maximum, the most uh, expensive mostly will be five hundred for this handbag. But you are going to sell it, for example, okay, uh, one hundred thousand for one handbag. So therefore, mostly they're going to apply this problem reversal in controlling the risk. They're going to manage all the risks. So what if, okay, they're going to uh, launch uh, 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 this uh, handbag with this color A, uh, B, and C? What if their customer, uh, they do not like it? So if their customer do not like it, they have to undertake all the loss. In the end, they will not able to earn the profit they wanted. So therefore, uh, the hub, Mostly, they're going to make all the positive statements into negative statement. They're going to make every ne uh, positive statement to negative. Every um, every uh, thing they're going to change it. They're going to um, uh, reverse it because they want to control the uh, risk. So therefore, uh, especially uh, again another example. For example. Uh, some handbag, uh, some handbag, or some even for some sport car, or even for some uh, wash. Okay, so in market, okay, uh, these they selling this price. For example, less than one thousand, but you are going to uh, sell it one hundred thousand. Mostly, okay, how uh, they're going to turn it after they turn it. Okay, or oh, what if the customer do not like this and that and this? So after this, again, they go into maybe can, they can offer by uh, providing these um, uh, prototype or uh, 
uh, editing, okay, meaning to say the, uh, the customer can edit and choose their own color, okay, before they go, they're going to um, uh, create and make this product for them. So these uh, mostly will be one of the very popular uh, technique we call as a problem reversal, uh, especially for those uh, branded manufacturer. So this will be another. The first analogy will be totally different. First analogy, something like this. Um, so make sure you are able to see what I'm trying to share with you. This is a handphone. Handphone to you or to me is a digital devices. Basically, this handphone, mostly we use this handphone for communications. We want to communicate with someone. Am I, am I right? Mostly, you want to use this handphone, okay, to make a some a phone calling with your uh, friends or your uh, family members. This is what this is a pen. Pen actually is something to me will be secondary. A uh, uh, pen for actually is for us to write something or draw something, or we or or, or for us to sign some agreement, or for us to uh, to to. Uh, make uh, to record uh, some uh, thing or some diary, something like this. These two components actually they are different in terms of their functionality, in terms of the knowledge, everything will be totally different. But I'm going to force them this handphone and this pen to be together by applying this technique. So, how are we going to force it? I want to. Uh, for this pen, you are, you are going to work together with this pen. How I'm going to make make it in the end? I, I can make it this pen okay to be connected with this uh, handphone. I try to make this pen to be a digital pen. Then I will able to uh, write something and draw something. You, meaning to say, you try to make some these two things. Okay, actually their function, their functionality, everything will be totally different. Then you try to relate it, okay, by using this false analogy. So this will be very popular techniques. Uh, will be use it, okay, now this. So another another one will be we call as a mind mapping. So what mind mapping? Uh, meaning to say this will be very easy. Mostly you're going to you're going to start with the uh subject number one. Then you go to you 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 are going to um, expand it to the uh, uh, four sub ideas. So for these uh, four ideas, you're going to expand it uh, to another sub ideas. From these sub ideas, you're going to uh, expand it to another uh, another eight or, or ten sub ideas. This we call as a uh, mind mapping. So the another one will be the lateral thinking. This one is very important. Uh, lateral thinking means say you try to apply something totally new features uh, uh, on this product. I still use the same product we call as a handphone. Handphone, um, in your own uh, perspective, handphone is for communication, right? Handphone for the telephone uh, calling, handphone nowadays, okay? Even, okay, uh, we can use it, okay? for uh, for um, uh, sending some message to your, to your friends. Um, but if I'm going to apply this lateral thinking, so meaning they say I'm going to apply the totally new features. Nowadays, handphone is not just for phone calling. This handphone, if I'm going to apply this, I may say uh, this handphone, uh, I can use it as a blood pressure okay, device for my customer to measure the blood pressure, even for them to, um, to, to, to measure the heartbeats. At the same time, they were going to uh, uh, play a role as a, as a either uh, as a, um, I were able to detect some viruses, okay, in this uh, room by using this handphone. This is totally new, every exists in this market. So if I going to, uh, propose something like this, meaning to say, I already applied this type of uh, lateral thinking, and this type of lateral thinking will be one of the uh, creativity techniques. So, so, so far, are you clear what, uh, with this? This will be very important. Will be six. Remember, remember we have six uh, creativity techniques. Can we proceed? Are you clear? Is it any question you want to ask me? 
No or yes? Yeah, okay, can right? Yes. Yes, thank you. Um, then we're going to look at the process. So process is really very simple. So you have to um um you have you have to learn and learn uh and when you have you when you have more knowledge or more skill or these uh product or services you are able to apply the creativity then you're going to explain your idea then you're going to evaluate and implement it uh there will be uh, some factors that are affecting uh creativity number one we call it as a barriers so for example uh never and never uh to uh apply uh too much stress on your team members if you would like to have uh, some uh creative uh with these features on your product or services Meaning say, from the discussion that you're going to do it later on, so do not um, apply, um, uh, how am I going to say, uh, too much stress okay, on them, okay? Because you will restrict their creativity. So at the same time, do not over manage on them, okay? Meaning to say, uh, uh, from this time, this time, what you are doing, for that time, the time, what is the progress, for that time, this time, okay, I want to see your report by, uh, by 10 to the p.m. today. So don't um, over manage on them and don't criticize them. Don't um, um, okay, put uh, too much stress on your, uh, on your team members and do not try to not have uh, some personal uh, belief. For example, okay, um, your, your, your handphone, right, okay, uh, cannot have a certain uh, number, okay, okay. Or also in your key uh, in your keyboard, okay. So don't okay, don't make this a uh, very weird and personal belief because it will be a barriers to your creativity. So before I'm going to explain to you what actually is innovation, let us look at this table. Were you able to see this table or not? This class, were you able to see this table? Yeah. Yeah. We able to see this table or not? Yes, doctor. Yes, okay. Yes. Yes, right, okay. If yes, okay, then I'm going to explain to you. So it's very important you have to know the differences between creativity and innovation. Creativity, we always will stop, okay, at the conceptual stage. Meaning say you just imagine it, you do, you not imagine. You just have some ideas. This idea could be stopped at your mind or could be stopped at the, all the discussions, okay, via the paperwork or even, okay, will be stopped out on all the prototype in your repository. So meaning to say, all your creativity will just stop, okay, with your uh, meeting room or even for your repository lab or even on or in your um, experiment, okay, uh, lab, okay, in your factory. But you, you never uh, launch it into the market. Means that your competitor never will know, okay, actually you already have applied uh, these features, okay, in this prototype. But innovation means that you already have applied the creativity, you already uh, have launched this product into this market, your competitor will, will know it, your, your um, customer, your customer, target customer, um, they were aware it. So in the end, you just you just said that actually your product or your services will be the innovations. You already apply this innovation. So one will be the practicals, one will be the uh, only the conceptual stage. So therefore, uh, there will be uh, there will be. Uh, Four types of uh, innovations. Invention will be the rainbow, first one. Invention meaning to say you try to apply everything new, totally new, okay? Means that your uh, competitors haven't applied these features in, in uh, into um, this product or service before, or even for a process. So do you know, when you're going to propose something, uh, Instead of improving the current features, actually you can improve the process. Process could be the logistic process, sales and marketing process, in terms of the uh, delivery process. 
could be also your invention. This one you have to uh, take note from this. First one will be totally new. Second one will be extension. Extension means that um, you are, you are, for, I, I just, just give you one example here. For example, this is handphone. So let's say this handphone already exists it. But if I'm going to apply this innovation we call as an extension, meaning to say I'm going to uh, extend okay, these uh, features in terms of this handphone, meaning to say I can put something okay, inside this handphone because I'm going to apply this innovation of this innovation A and B and C. Muslim meaning to say uh, some of my um, 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 target customer, they were able to take it, uh, this uh, digital pen, they can write something, they can use it to uh, take photo, they can use anything, okay? So the meaning is say, I'm going to uh, extend, okay, to extend the features of the existing products. So this one we call as uh, extension. But duplication will be totally different. Duplication means that you're going to be a copycat. You just duplicate everything. For example, last time uh, when um, when we are going to use the uh, word processing um, software, mostly we are going to use uh, Microsoft Word. So later on, um, there will be a lot of uh, other um, uh, software company that are going to uh, provide, okay, uh, something we call as uh, many version of which, which is very close and similar with the Microsoft Word. I mean, they say they try to apply this uh, duplication and this kind of uh, innovations method, um, I would like to say strongly not recommended because in terms of the copyright and pattern selection, uh, there will be a lot of issues will uh, come on you. So don't uh, apply this. Another one we call as a uh, uh, synthesis. Synthesis meaning to say will be totally different. Eh? In common. So for example, for example, um, when okay, I use this handphone to call this person, mostly I'm going to apply the theory A, B, and C. This theory already already exceeded. Then I um, and many uh, I, I think most of my competitors they are using ABC. But because I want to make some um some um virtual reality call or some AR call, whatever technology, okay, when I'm going to call or uh, have a uh, call with this person, let's, I'm, then I'm going to say that I'm going to apply technology, okay, or uh, technology uh, X, Y, Z. So meaning to say, I'm going to apply the, uh, the technology 1, 2, 3, and technology X, Y, Z. So meaning to say, I try to merge, okay, some new theory with existing theory, then I'm going to come up with the new products. This will be uh, uh, will be another innovation we call as a synthesis. So uh, instead of that, there will be several sources of innovation. So for example, an expected or occurrence means that, um, for example, uh, these uh, scientists for this laboratory lab that initially they want to uh, they want to uh, make some uh, medicines okay in healing these uh, in, or in killing this uh, virus A but unexpectedly they found okay uh, these um, these um, medicine actually also can can um, can cure okay the virus B and C and D. So mean to say um they they, they uh, have some innovation okay unexpectedly. Originally they would not uh want uh to um to or they do not uh, plan okay uh, this outcome in their um uh, process of manufacturing. But in the end, okay, unexpectedly, they uh, they found this. So this will be uh, could be one of the uh, sources of innovation. 
Another one we call as a new concept, uh, new knowledge concept will be totally new. So for example, um, um, okay, your team members already have uh, found uh, some vaccine, okay, in healing this COVID-19. So totally new because you are going to apply this uh, technology, this new technology. Another one will be changes, uh, changes of uh, uh, in um, demographic means that for example, because of, of some situation, so there were a, a group of people that going to uh, move it from this uh, location to the this location. So therefore, because of this changing of this um, uh, demographic, so um, mostly will be a uh, one uh, sources of innovation for you uh, to uh, create this product. I give an example uh, because of, of many uh, users, they are they are, they are, um, they are, they are using uh, and they are demanding of these uh, face masks. So therefore, uh, one year okay before you never know that actually uh, this will be uh, some kind of sources of innovation because of this pandemic of COVID nineteen. So um, you would because of this changing of this uh, demographic and the demands, okay? So also will, uh, will be some source of innovation, okay? This will be uh, another example. And the process need will be totally different. Uh, for example, if I would like to go from one location to another location, so the current the um, the, the the current process will be I have to uh, go to the bus stop, then I'm going to take the bus, I'm going to prepare all the ceiling. So in the end, uh, I just have to wait that I have to uh, do this and that. But when you're going to apply this process, this uh, as a one of your sources of innovation, means that you try to improve the process. To be uh will be better and better. Therefore, you have a sum we call as a uh, grab car. So uh, this will be some sources of innovations. So um, last slide will be the phrases. So first of all, uh, you should have uh, uh, some conceptions. We you say you have to plan everything. So you have to know how to analyze the requirements of your products. So you are going to you write all your ideas that you have. Then you're going to have a some uh, plan or your some blueprint. So after this, you're going to implement it. You're going to prepare all these prototype in your laboratory. They're going to test it out. So after this, okay, you're going to you're going to market it. You're going to uh, you're going to implement. Okay, all your business idea by uh, launching uh, this product into this market. So this will be the uh, three phrases. So mostly this will be a very important uh, point I would like to uh, share with you. So do you have any other questions? If no, I any questions? Before I'm going to give you uh, uh, a three minutes break. Any other questions? No, okay. No. okay, I give you three minutes break. Let's all be going to continue the next uh, lecture. So before we end on this class, are you okay with this? All this actually, actually we have to contact it last week. I try to uh, make it for you. Okay, thanks.
So welcome back. We tried to finish it earlier, but I tried to use, uh, we try to continue. So first of all, um, if you any question, you can get back to me. So now we go, um, so can we uh, continue? So now we are going to discuss about the entity. So um, there will be a server entity, business entity in, uh, in our country. So may I know um, when you're going to share your your PowerPoints right right by using this MS team, so will you encounter some problems when you go to share it? When you want to share something but you were not able to get the file? Do you experience in this before? Were you able to see this slide or not? Setting up a company? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, okay, that's great. So let us okay, get started uh, like this. So after you already, okay, I, I made a very quick revision. So after you already know, okay, how you're going to apply all your creativity and innovation for the, all the ideas that you have uh, generated, okay, we are via the discussion that you had. So next thing, you have to make decision. So what color of business entity that I'm going to choose if I would like to sell my business? So actually, this will, this, this will be the video. You can watch it later on. And actually, these two videos were very good. This uh, number two will be how you're going to sell your company in Malaysia. So I try to share with you. So there will be a several very popular business entity in Malaysia. Number one will be the sole proprietorship. Mostly, uh, this kind of uh, uh, sole proprietorship mostly will be fully managed by uh, a person or individual. So meaning to say, uh, this type of business entity will be very easy to um, set up and in terms of all the profit, um, the, the, the owner of this business will can own it. Every profit, okay, that we, uh, that this person have it, and this and uh, this kind of um, uh, subprotorship, uh, the owner uh, can control the business easily and if they want to terminate, okay, their uh, business will be uh, very easy to make it. But there will be uh, some disadvantages. Or uh, meaning to say, uh, if this person have uh, some outstanding or some uh, uh, liability or some um, uh, some um, some debts, okay, with their uh, banks, financials or financial institutions of the supplier. So even though they have terminated their business, the um, the bank or the supplier or the financial institutions, they still have the right to sue them okay, uh, in the court. So um, by okay um, by uh, if they have uh, some uh, some their own um, savings, if they have, they have they have an own asset. Okay, even they have terminated this business, they still have to uh, take out all their saving, all their asset, all the everything they had in uh, making the repayments to their uh, banks or suppliers or uh, financial institution. This is called as an unlimited uh, liability. So instead, instead of the sources of fund will be very limited because every fund uh, will be uh, comes from this person. For example, restaurant. Restaurant uh, mostly will be 
um, owned and managed by uh, by a person, but mostly will be assisted by their own family. So therefore, uh, uh, if this, anything happens or this person, for example, if this person want to migrate, okay, or, or move it to another, uh, another, uh, another area or another uh, state or whatever, so mostly this business will be uh, terminated, and mostly uh, it's very hard to combine all the skill and knowledge because uh, this business mostly will be owned by uh, individual, um, by an individual um, pers uh, or or. Uh, businessman or, 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 or a person. So this will be some example, for example, restaurant, okay, it's ABC restaurant. This will be a example of uh, sole proprietorship. Partnership will be something like a clinic, legal firm, or uh, audit firm. So mostly they're going to combine, okay, all the skill, all the, um, uh, all the capitals together with their business partner. So this type of uh, business entity will be very easy to uh, set up. So they were able to share all the skill, for example, like a clinic. So uh, be very easy, okay? And um, mostly they were able to get a more capital okay, for this business. But the advantages will be unlimited, uh, right, pretty. If this uh, clinic, for example, they have some outstanding with this supplier, so, even though they have closed this uh, clinic, this, if they have uh, some asset and some um, personal saving, they still have to make the repayment to them. At the same time, uh, all the profit that uh, they receive, they're going to share with their business partner. So, uh, so this one will be, for example, this clinic, ABC clinic, mostly they will say, uh, this is a medical doctor, uh, ABC with their partners. So another one we call as a private lim limited company. Mostly in Basel, we say will be a uh, Sambian Brahat. So this kind of company, they are fully uh, restricted to the Company Act uh, 2016. So it means that um, they have to follow okay, all the regulations that are uh, stated in under this uh, act. So the minimum um, will be uh, uh, one member could be a uh, could be a shareholder, another will be director, and this director at the same time um, could be a member. So therefore, minimum will be one director, so uh, maximum will be uh, five zero fifty shareholders. But the partnership will be minimum is two, maximum is fifty five zero. But this um, these uh, private uh, limited limited company minimum is one director and max, maximum is a uh, fine uh, 50. And this kind of uh, um, business entity, mean to say uh, is there, uh, is, uh, we can uh, get a more capitals and this, this kind of business entity will be limited, limited liability if they, even though they have, uh, when they have uh, terminated their business, if they have any outstanding with this supplier, uh, the supplier just can sue uh, against their company. So, um, but there will be some the advantages. Me to say, uh, they need to to go through a very complicated uh, process. It compared with the first uh, the proprietorship or the partnership, and they also uh, cannot be uh, advertised and listed on the um. Uh, stock exchange or we call it as a bursa saham. So, uh, for example, is uh, this ABC Sandhya Braha. This will be an example. So another will be a public or uh, lim limited uh, company like a Braha. So, for example, like uh, TMB, uh, Telecom, all these will be Braha. So mostly, uh, we have, okay, at least, okay, um, uh, two natural uh, person as a director with at, at least 18 years and above. That should uh, be a Malaysian and a member minimum will be one uh, member, but this member could be a Malaysian or foreigner. But director, okay, must be a Malaysian or the PR. So 
they also have to employ a uh, company secretary so mostly for for their annual meetings even though they also have to apply uh, their auditor okay in preparing all these uh, accounting for tax so in the end they're going to share their profit and loss okay of of the annual man uh, annual income to the public because the public is going to buy their shares in this stock exchange so uh the advantage will be uh there also will be the lim limited uh liability so meaning you say uh their supplier the, the bank just able to sue against their company if they are director they have their own saving they cannot sue them if this if the uh, nature of this business or, or if the uh, business entity of this business will be the public li limited company but uh, the advantages will be uh, it take a lot a, a longer time take a longer time and they need to uh, go through a very complicated uh, process and um, it's very very expensive uh, to be listed on this uh, stock exchange so meaning to say if your initial capital is just a uh, ten thousand you cannot okay uh, to this kind of business entity so this one or will be some example here. Actually, this will be one video here. This video is is about uh, how we are going to um, uh, form or set up a one company in US. So uh, please, okay, watch this video. So um, basically, okay, uh, today I already have discussed with you about the the three activities and the. Uh, um, and the some lecture that uh, we have missed it okay in our last lecture because it was uh, a public holiday so do you have any questions before we are going to demiss our class today any questions no okay um Okay, it's okay. If you don't have any questions, uh, please and please, uh, this is a general reminder, uh, please and please uh, proceed uh, in doing the progress report number one and by uh, please, by, 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 by attach, uh, by insert all the uh, pre, uh, screenshot photo into this progress report. So meaning to say all the discussion that you have via this, uh, the Padlet page and let's on, Please and please post your first okay copywriting okay into the Facebook group, our Facebook group. Let's on your following classes. I'm going to uh, guide you how, why these Facebook Live are so important and why uh when you're going to post something, no any customer will uh will, will, will buy your products and how you're going to overcome it, how you're going to make your customer okay um um to be okay, uh, interested okay on your products. So for this way, I said again, uh, every team, uh, every student, you have to screenshot all your attendance and submit it okay, uh, and upload it to the share folder. And at the same time, you have to, you have to, uh, you have to. Give it okay, and the team leader is going to take all the attendance proof and, and put it into the attendance uh, template. So every week your team leader is going to prepare for you. So for the progress report, just the team leader ha you have to submit for it. Don't forget to attach all your team members' name and their uh, ID. Okay. So um, next week I'm going to share with you. So. Uh, and the following week also I will share with you how, how you're going to prepare a, let me, uh, uh, a proper uh, marketing portfolio. Yes. Any questions? Uh, please repeat what should we need to upload to the Facebook group. Uh, mostly you have to have a one, you have a discussion with your team members what kind of product that you are going to do. For example, you, you after this discussion, uh, you want to you want to uh, market this product, this air product. Then 
you you just upload one photo with some descriptions and this description will, could be a product description and with the uh, call for action meaning to say if they're interested um uh, how they're going to buy for this product how they're going to contact you then post it to the face our facebook group then print screen it and insert it together okay uh, with your progress report one then team leader just submit for it is it clear so so team leader submit um google drive file oh, like this eh? okay um what you're gonna do you have to submit to the google drive to the share folder in the google drive uh, that created by our course representative. At the same time, you have to submit to Spectrum. There will be a link we call as the progress report one. I already have created the link. You also have to submit this report to the uh, Spectrum. Okay. Yes. For the Weekly progress report. Is it the meeting minutes you share in the leaders group that we need to uh, For the progress report, uh, you can uh, insert the minutes of the meeting together with all the print screen of your discussion and the print screen of the Facebook into this uh, progress report. Because, uh, yeah, I want to answer your questions. Yeah, okay, thank you. Any other questions? No? So uh, um, just a general reminder, every discussion that you're going to have uh, with your team members, you have to uh, make it into the minutes of the of the meeting. So uh, therefore, you know uh, what you are good, what you are going to achieve for every discussion that you had. And, every, you, and at the same time, you are able to know um, what kind of tasks that you're going to assign to these team members and what are the what are the due dates okay that you're going to put it okay for every for the task they're going to assign to these team members yes for weekly progress report uh, only leader need to submit or everyone need to submit yes i have repeated three times only the team leaders team leaders uh, the uh, starting this way uh, for the weekly progress report uh, only the team leaders, but you have to do this with your team members. But submission for submission, just the team leaders. Okay. Do you have any, any other questions? No. Okay. If if you do not have the question now, it's okay. Then we are going to dismiss our class now. So um. So uh, yes, okay. So if you have another, uh, if you have an another questions, you may um text me. So I will try my best to reply you. So uh, I will I wish you all the best and um all the best to you. Stay safe and stay uh well, okay. So I would like to say bye bye. Thank you. I hope okay today okay you will learn something from this section. So next week we are going to continue our lecture and our our, our discussion. Thanks. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.